Welcome to the conversation on hashtags. <laughs> oh the long gosh. awaited, the much anticipated hashtags. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, we should do that little. <laughs> what was that? Where, where, where was that from? That was just Jimmy Fallon, Justin Timberlake. <laughs> oh, they okay. also did the hashtag. So hashtag. That and hashtag. Seems- that just seems a little too Catholic church to me. You know, the, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, not the same, but okay. We'll not the same. It. Not the same. All so right. we have mentioned time and time again that hashtags are available in every single platform and it's true. So I'm going to show you how to, how people are doing searches for you in here. So I typed in the word business and this is Facebook land and because every single word is searchable, it's business is going to come up. Now, one, there's a hashtag that Chris uses a lot, and it's called business headshots. Now, you'll notice I didn't put a space. I didn't put a hashtag up here, and I've got a space in between each. It's actually going to search both words, business, and headshots. And you'll see it pulls up all posts, people, photos, videos, marketplace pages, so on so forth because it's its own search engine you can really narrow what you see so if we do business and headshots look look who i found hey look at that girl now what if i make it an actual hashtag removing the space in between the words putting the little number sign in front It's a much narrowed search and looks, look who pops up in there. Huh. And it's because. She must use that a lot. Yeah. That hashtag is something that she wanted to be found under. And because it's a conversational piece, people could be searching just for that and get business from it. I had a, a young lady doing send out cards and she attended a workshop and she used hashtag send out cards, hashtag Denver. And someone was doing a search, hashtag send out cards. Saw her, she was in Dallas and said, you're the only post that I saw using this hashtag. This is what I'm looking for. Closed business with a very large account that day. This was a 24 hour window of her posting that hashtag. Wow. Yeah. It's powerful, my friends. So you'll notice there's a variety of different hashtags used here. And it's really just taking a very wide search and making it more narrow. She wants to come up in all of these different phrases. So that's why she's using the hashtags. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. (laughs) I love it. (laughs) So anything else you want to cover with hashtags? Well, and this is how people can find you. So the friends you haven't met yet. Yes. It's organic growth using free means to share content. Now, what's interesting is I don't tend to search for hashtags in Facebook, but obviously you can because you're showing us. Mm -hmm. I tend to do it in Instagram and then follow that hashtag. Yeah. Well, you can't follow hashtags in here. You'd have to just type them in, but Mm -hmm. that's what, that's the difference between the platforms. You can follow them in LinkedIn. You can follow them in Instagram. You cannot follow them in Facebook. I love it in Instagram because then I can... Yes, say I'm following business headshots. Yes, I'm going to see a lot of people who are doing business headshots. And I'm going to see a lot of business headshots around the world. And they're going to see me too. They're going to follow my stuff. And we're going to be talking about stuff. So I can keep up to date on what's going on and what people are putting out there. But then they can start finding me, which is a lot more fun. It's totally true. And you were talking... Uh, before when we first met the first time I met Holly she was talking she did a whole segment on hashtags and I was just like oh my gosh this is the best I've ever worth worth the price of admission right there and one of the ones that you talked about was how to find the right hashtag and then it it went into what other hashtags are those people using so maybe they're using business headshots what else are they using And that's what's so cool because it is a search tool and it will show you how many people are using it, what other tags they're using. If you want to increase your influence 
and your visibility, start following some different stuff and some different people and see what kind of activity you get from using different hashtags. I like to go, not yes, straight on, like business headshots. There it is. Business video, website video. Um, those are straight on, but then I'll also go kind of to the side, you know, maybe it's uh, Colorado Springs. Mm -hmm. Someone who might be searching for Colorado Springs is going to find me by hashtags. Yep. And um, here's an example of a phrase, mm -hmm. hashtag your story matters, hashtag be awesome, hashtag do good things. Those are just so good. I have a friend talking about finding out what other people are using starting there and then kind of going around it instead of just here's my thing that I want and it's this little bitty thing oh what's all what's in that orbit what fits uh, a friend of mine another beautiful wonderful photographer uh, she started to take a lot of photos at her um, winter home in Florida on the beach in winter yes I understand as we're shoveling our Colorado snow thank you uh, it makes a good workout though um, she, would put, she wanted to start selling these to hospitals and to art buyers like that. So she found some on Instagram and then looked at their hashtags. Who were they following? Uh, what hashtags were they following? That type of thing. Where did they appear? And then put herself in that circle. She started to close some business very quickly. Because yeah. you get noticed. People will notice it. It's just amazing. So what other lovely things should we know about hashtags? Um, I really feel that everyone in the world should watch the Justin Timberlake video <laughs> with, <laughs> he's, his, mind, his name is escaping my mind right now, Justin Timberlake and- Jimmy Fallon? Jimmy Fallon on YouTube, the first original video. They actually have an entire <laughs> conversation with hashtags and uh, it's- insanely hilarious it's making fun of it a little bit but it's fascinating because people do actually talk in that that language hashtag nom 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 <laughs> <laughs> well i mean come on that was just like whenever we were in high school it was all valley girl stuff it was like like totally gag me with a spoon <laughs> like uh, for sure are you cool beans because i got cool beans that would be like hashtag cool beans <laughs> Oh, oh my man. goodness. Yeah, only an 80s kid would know that. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So oh. we have we have a uh, one more video, right? Yes, one more and that is on IGTV/ slash YouTube. Cuz to me they the way that I'm looking at those two is let's say that we're going to make video that's a little bit more edited. Doesn't have to be, but I'm thinking edited video. The more professional looking, good lighting, good sound, good cameras, edited down, maybe lots of graphics put in there and that, that kind of good stuff. Lives on YouTube, maybe we put it on IGTV because now it's a series and a channel. Dun, dun, dun. Like, oh, <laughs> let's talk about that. All right, well tune in because you do not want to miss it. Ha what, 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 hashtag, hashtag. Hashtag. <laughs>